So about Taiwan, do you have like, um, so what would be like the highlight of the trip? What are you going to take back home? The highlight was when we physically, verbally, like all my senses, whatever, I got to live the sharing with the tribes, with our cousins, with our family who are here. When I got to sit with them and talk with them and share our similarities and celebrate our differences, that was the highlight. But there's so many highlights because I loved that just as much as working with the children and teaching them dance. Everything here has been so beautiful and so good that I've been able to be, um, to really um, be showered with the experiences of Taiwan, whether it's in the city or whether it's in the villages. Um, what has inspired me the most about this trip is that I want to um, go to Samoa and still, it's literally impossible to revive the past, but at least um, try and find somebody who knows because then what I am interested in is you know how they have the festivals here where each group they go and they live with the tribe they learn from the elders and then they represent that tribe at the competition or the festival something like that I want to start something like that either in Samoa or New Zealand what has inspired me to do is just go back to Samoa and just learn as much as possible go back to Samoa and learn as much as possible I know, I know, I know what I know from living in New Zealand, and but there's still a lot more for me to learn. So being here has really enhanced that. So even me coming to Taiwan, as I really wanted to learn, and I really wanted to make some connections. So was it like different than what you expected? Like Taiwan the trip, absolutely. The Taiwan or the trip, like from what you thought it was going to be, this whole exchange um, in the country. Yes, definitely. Because when I was coming over to Taiwan. People did say that they were like, oh, they look just like us. They look just like us. I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. But in Taiwan, all we the tribes, they look exactly like us. Um, but, um, but you know, aside from that, when I was coming here, because it's the Republic of China, I thought it would be a lot more like China. But then after being here for, for like three, four days, I realized it's nothing like China. Share language, share some cultural things, but overall... Um, yeah, Taiwan is not like China. You can, it's definitely an island. It has the island feel. And um, the, you can tell that there's like a mixture of cultures here. But um, yeah, no. It's, 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 th this is not what I expected. Any favorite places in Taiwan? Um, I think, I don't know if it was, no, I love them all. I love them all. I, at first I thought it was Hualien and Taidong, but then upon reflection, the reason why I loved that is because those were the first places I visited outside of Taipei. And, um, you know, because Taipei is a busy city, and once you're out of it, once you hit Hualien, and then once you drive through, it's just, you know, with the mountain and the ocean, it's just like a... And then I was thinking, like, I could have lived there easily, um, just because it's not so busy, and because it's south, and... Um, and just the landscape. I love it, I love it. But then there's parts of it around Taipei as well, so no, I don't have a, I don't have a particular favorite place. I love them all for different reasons. Mm. So you, said, you would say it was definitely like a worth living experience? Absolutely, absolutely. I had, I, if I had not come here, I would have been, had, I would have had plenty of work to keep me occupied in New Zealand um, and a lot of good opportunities there as well but I knew I needed to be here um, I needed to be here to um, to learn and to make these connections and um, because of my role in New Zealand I'm quite I'm usually around a lot of people I'm always giving presentations I'm always in front of a big crowd so um, um, you know I can share it I share it, you know I think it's good for someone who's always around a lot of people to be experiencing this rather than someone who's kind of who will go back home and not tell anybody about it whereas I would probably tell all of the Pacific about it so um yeah yeah I'm so it's, it was and it's definitely a life-changing experience in regards to me and my life where I'm going what I want to do and what I want to accomplish so yeah so you'll be back absolutely oh, <laughs> that if the universe will put me here yes
I would love to come back. Well, the thing is, is that I would love to come back and bring some dancers. So, because there's so much that I could do here. I mean, even if I came over for like, for example, like a three month stint where we were traveling around Taiwan, doing public performances, teaching workshops in schools. I mean, because, you know, I did it, but it's powerful and has more of that Pacific feel and essence when I have when I have a group and when I have a live musician and when I'm not singing by myself. So, um, yeah. We always do things in a group in New Zealand. It's always, I mean, in New Zealand and Samoa, I'm always part of a group. So, yeah.